Hey guys, it's Dr. Matt. This is another video on my geometry series and what I want to talk about today is back beveling. You're asking yourself, what is back beveling? Well, it's a term that I made up and I'll show you what it is, but it has to do with razors that have a whole bunch of homeware on them and how to handle them. Um, uh, I wanted to show you a razor here. This is a razor that someone sent me, Davidson sent me. Thanks, Steve. Uh, this razor has a bunch of honeware on it. He was fixing to pitch this razor. And I saw it and I said, hey, that'd be a great candidate for my next video. Uh, so he sent it to me and I had to fix the, the warp in it first, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deal with that spine wear. Now, when you have razors with that much uh, spine wear on them, they can create a couple of problems. Uh, one of the problems is, is when you go to hone them, uh, they tend to stick to the stone really bad. When you have a whole bunch of metal in contact with the stone, uh, that stiction gets really bad and it gets to the point where you, at times you can't, you really can't even finish them because there's just so much uh, uh, a stiction on that razor. Uh, the other problem that it can create and what I've found is that the edge just at times doesn't want to come out, meaning it's inconsistent. Uh, I've had razors that the edge just didn't want to come around. I back beveled them and the edge came right out. It was, it was great. It really took care of that problem. I don't know that I can explain that, but it has to do with a whole bunch of, uh, with all of that surface area or all of that metal in contact with the stone and how it affects at the very edge of the razor. Um, now, there are a couple of solutions to this. Probably the most common thing that people will do is they will regrind the razor. They'll take and you know the, they'll regrind the hollow, and what they'll do is they'll they'll bring that that hollow higher up on onto the spine and get rid of some of that some of that wear, some of those uh, flat wear bars, and that's probably the best way to do it. Um, but for example, in a razor like this, I don't think it would pay to do that, and you know it's just this back beveling technique that I'm going to show you in a second uh, can handle that. Um, but the other solution is to back bevel it. And what back beveling is, is it's a way to narrow those wear bars on the spine to get the razor to stop sticking. And also, uh, I feel that it'll, it can give it a better edge. Um, so let me show you on these drawings. Now, this is a, uh, a profile view of a pretty much standard razor. Um, as you look, these right here at the spine, these wear bars, the, the, the home wear is really big, wide, like the razor I showed you. And you can see uh, what I did is I marked in blue here the, the, the part of the razor that's in contact with the stone. And this is the thing that I said can create problems as far as stiction or uh, uh, giving an inconsistent edge. So what I do, in this back beveling technique that I do, I don't think that I'm the first one to do it. I, I, I think I gave it the name, but I'm sure other people have done it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll put four layers of tape on the edge, okay? Uh, why do I put four layers of tape? Well, I don't know, it was arbitrary. I just picked four and it worked out real well for me. So I put the four layers of tape on there. And now when I lay this thing on the stone, what it does is if this is the edge and the spine is back here, it pitches that thing up this way. That's the, the back bevel part that I came up with. And what it does is, it, is, is it'll take and it'll knock the ends of that, those wear bars off, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna leave just a tiny little part where I marked with the green to be in contact with the stone. So now at this point, instead of those big, huge wear bars, you only have this little part that's in contact and, and, and that seems to clean up the edge. Uh, like I said, can't explain it, but it works out really well. Uh, it's definitely a, a cost alternative to regrinding it. So let me show you how I do it. What I've done is I've prepped the razor. What I did is I put the four layers of tape here, if you can see. And also what I've done is I've marked the bevel with a with a marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the 400 diamond plate and we're going to knock it down just until hopefully we can see just a little uh, black line of the of the old bevel there. And what I'll do, this is my 400 diamond and we're just going to go to town on it.
Now, I'm not being nice. I'm putting as much force on there as I can. You can see there's just a little bit of the spine coming off the, the fat line. We're going to try and get that thinned down. All right, that's actually pretty good. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue refining this. At this point, we've pretty much taken it down as much as we, as much as we can. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this through the progression. I'm going to take it up to my 1200 diamond plate, then my 1K, 2K, 5K, 8, 12, all the way to the finish. And the only reason for that is cosmetic, because what it'll do is it'll just polish that secondary bevel. All right, let's just finish her up. All I'm doing is finish polishing this thing so it will look nice and pretty. So I have completed it. I went from the 400, I went to the 1200 uh, diamond plate, I went to the 2000 or 1000, 2000, 5000, 8000, 12000, and I finished on the, the quarter micron diamond board. But all of that was just cosmetics. So I wanted to show you here, let me wipe that off, what it looks like if you can see, you're gonna see there, there's one bevel and then there's the other one. It's almost like a primary and a secondary bevel. There's the, the heavier bevel on top and then the real thin one on the bottom and that's the one that's gonna be resting on the stone. Okay? So that's it. I just back beveled the razor. Uh, you know, uh, one good thing about this, well, there's a couple good things about it that I like it because first off, it's easy to do. It's, it's a pretty decent alternative to regrinding the razor. It does not alter the geometry. The bevel angle is still gonna be exactly the same. Uh, some people say, you know, just why don't you put tape on it and avoid the whole thing? Well, even if you put tape on those real wide wear bars, you're still gonna have a lot of contact uh, in, uh, it's still going to be in contact with the stone. So, um, you know, there's still going to, that edge is still potentially going to be a little bit wonky. So as always, any questions, email me, drmatt357 at hotmail.com. Have a great day. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you soon.